how to make money using this app called Canva without any prior experience, without any technical skills or without even coding. Let us go ahead and watch this video. Hello guys, this is Shailaja. Welcome back to my channel. Top 5 trending templates which you can go ahead and create instantly because there are a lot of templates available inside the Canva free version. You can go ahead and just make some changes and create your own designs and start selling in some sort of applications or the websites where you can start making money immediately. Let me tell you the top 5 digital products which you can go ahead and create a templates which is mostly trending nowadays. Number 1 product would be digital planner. Mostly all the online business people needed a digital planner. They don't have a time to create by themselves. So they would be really looking for the template which is really good and which matches their brand. Number two, YouTube thumbnail. Nowadays, YouTube is one of the biggest platform. After COVID, everybody started making videos through YouTube. But the main attraction of any YouTube video is the YouTube thumbnail. If you know how to create, just do some sort of research. What kind of a YouTube thumbnails get more attention to click the video? And you can start taking inspiration from that and start making your own YouTube thumbnail templates. You can sell it for really good amount. Facebook cover image or LinkedIn cover images. Now again, there are many people who are not good at making designs or maybe they are not very good at choosing the color palettes. You can go ahead and create some sort of a templates especially customized for Facebook cover page sizes and dimensions. This is also one of the in demanding templates in the online market. Instagram is one of the booming app now. And you can also go ahead and create a lot of Instagram story templates and post templates which can be helpful for any of the Instagram influencers or small business owners. The number 5 template would be business branding kit. Now you must be wondering what is this business branding kit. I am going to make a separate video of what are the things involved in this business branding kit. For example, it could be a logo, it could be a business card. So there are plenty of the things where a business owner does not have a time to do by themselves. They would be hiring some person or they would be purchasing some templates. So how you can go ahead and create a business branding kit using the free Canva version and you can sell it. This is going to be the really high demanding and expensive kit or expensive template. You can sell it for really very good amount of money. I am going to show you how to create a Canva account, how to create one of the digital product where to sell it and how much to sell it for. Keep watching this video for more information and I am going to give a best tip at the end of this video. Welcome guys, here I have a Google browser open. So let me show you how to create a Canva account for you. So search as Canva. Here you have the Canva link. So you can click on this to create a new account. So once you click on the create, it's going to show you login or sign up. So if you are a new or the uh, camera or the first time you want to use this Canva, go for sign up or you can see this sign up for free now. So right now we are going to create a Canva free account itself. So you get option like this, either you can sign up with your existing Google account, Facebook or you can just enter your email ID and then enter your own password. So right now I do have my existing account, so I'm going to just use continue with my Google account. Okay, this is how it looks once you log in. This is my free account. You could see a lot of templates, a lot of features. You can explore, play around with this templates already available like social media, personal, business, marketing, education, trending. So you can go ahead and choose some of the templates. What are the features available? And how here you have some sort of a tutorials also. And, and here you have the plans like pro, enterprise, education, nonprofit, all these plans. Currently we are in this free. And uh, trust me, we're going to use almost very good features using the free account only because this itself is good enough to start and making side income with the free account. In this video today I'll show you how to create a trending thumbnail. So for that we will just do some sort of research like how you will even get some inspiration that how to create a trending thumbnail and how you can go ahead and you know find some inspiration from different platforms. So directly let's take some inspiration from the YouTube itself. I have searched for YouTube thumbnails. We could see a lot of YouTube thumbnails tutorials here itself but let's take an inspiration from them only like what kind of a thumbnails they have used okay so here these are the very simple but yet effective thumbnails so I'm just thinking which one we can do it probably this one looks really nice we'll try to create something like this let's get back to Canva okay I'm gonna search as YouTube thumbnail 
Here you could see a lot of templates are already there which seems to be similar to the one which we saw in the YouTube now. So I'm going to just pick one and just change some colors. We are not going to start from scratch. Remember that. And since this is a free account, let's not try to make anything from the premium or pro version. I'll just go ahead and click only the free from the left side. So now whatever the so now whatever the templates it shows are going to be the free version. Now if you see these itself are very good designs. This pops out really well. So let me I think I like the first one itself. This is also good. But we'll try to see something similar to this YouTube one. Like this. Or we, we can go ahead and create something like that. Okay you see this almost similar to that. So we're going to try this one. So this is how it looks once we open this template you could see the main template here and some of the other templates also you have few features available like elements elements you can take some sort of shapes frames arrow circle we might need to do another video for this but currently i'm just telling elements is some sort of a graphics some sort of animations elements you can drag and drop here to make this kind of designs and all those things Uploads is anything you wanted to upload it from your system like a video images you can upload it from here. Text is the font these type of fonts whichever you want to use. Photo is the stock images what is available inside the canva. The style is the color combination of your uh, theme colors here. So we will use that now. Videos is what kind of a videos canva has. Background is the total complete background of any video or design and some more stock images. So currently we are going to use this. First thing is I wanted to change the style because this is already existing. Let's try to change it to some other brand color. Okay, can you see this is actually shuffling the colors within this particular palette. Okay. Probably I wanted to use a different color palette. Let me go ahead and change a different color palette. Okay, looks like this is a background image. So that's why this is completely a background. So let me let me show you if we go ahead and change the background, this blue color will be completely different because that is part of a background design. So you could see a lot of designs are here. Let us see which color can I'm gonna pop out. Probably I'll just try to change it for yellow. Okay, you can see this now. So the entire background color is changed. Now we will come back and change the styles which is nothing but the color palettes. You will see a lot of variations going with all the elements. Okay, so the background remains same. Okay, this is how we can choose it but right now I will try to do the same one like this. So we will take a blue background itself the previous one. Or even you can search in the background like blue. We can also go ahead and change the styles of font as well as the colors. Let us try one of this. You can see the font colors. I think this font I liked it very much. Just keep shuffling this. You will see the font colors as well as the font designs will be changing. Or we'll try this. Okay. I like the previous one, the bold one. Yes, this seems to be really good. And let's go back to the background color. Blue. Okay, this seems to be a little fine for me. All right, so it's like black and white is the font what he's used here. So we will also use almost the same now here we will put some sort of a white background. So all these are white so we will we'll make it contrast. We will change the font to white and we will create a background for this.
and to get a background or get a this kind of a shape you go to elements and then you can go to shapes so currently i have already used it but if you cannot see you can directly click on shapes or you can just scroll down here it will show you all sort of elements what is available here so right now i want a shape of square so i'm taking this one and i can little bit tilt it like the same way okay drag it to this so here as well i'll just make it a little more here i will make it a little more small and now i want this background i want to change the background to white black okay, not the font the square okay, let's move it a little bit okay now this this is the color where you can go ahead and change the color just click on this make it black so now you could see how much it is popping out now bringing back this how to design here and also probably i just wanted to make this little smaller the square shape or this doesn't look like a shape yeah it's part of this okay so i'm just making it little more tilt or what we can do is we can create something like this a new one let me move this what we can do is we can actually make this as one group like this don't select all just select this copy paste it so you get this how to design and also copy the shape and paste it okay we're getting both text okay now i copy the shape paste it now i'm going to make this as a white background okay let me copy one more time and paste it again so i have three text going followed by each other now this i'm going to send it back so you go to this and click on position say backward so it goes back side and the font is front and before that i wanted to change this box to white color white now i will send this to back position backward yes we do have the font in the front but we are not able to see because font is in a white color just click on this and go back change the font to black now you could see so this should be thumbnail t h u m b n a l okay now i don't want this i will delete this now once again we have this how to design thumbnail let us send the shape back to the back to the font and since font is in black color we'll change the font to white okay the font is here for free so we will take this free first change the font to white and move this here little bit tilt it okay i feel we need to increase the font size let us check all the font pop in spool 49.2 i'll make everything 50 this also 50 and i'm going to change this also to 50 so how to design thumbnail for free is what we made it here let's go back and see this is almost similar to this yeah but we did use a different font now what we will do is we'll try to make everything caps so i think the capital might be capital might look better so if you click on this it will auto capitalize all the fonts select this okay i think i need to move a little bit left side yeah select the font go here click on this thumbnail select the font go here click this okay so we'll we'll just drag it yeah so now 
let me let me bring this to center okay so we will just trim this down because for me that uh, space is not making sense so we will just trim this to make it more looking pop out so let me trim this as well oh hold on that was the line okay i just made little bit of adjustments now let's go back and change this also to white or black color let's see which one pops out let me put white first i think the white looks really nice and this also we can change it to white all right so this is the existing design what, what we picked up we'll just go ahead and change this or any brand or person color so you can just mention it here as add your picture or logo so they know that here yes they need to add their own images or their own brand images even we can make this circles to different colors Okay, so if we think we don't want so many things to be happening here, we can just directly remove all these things if it is not making any sense to you. Just remove all those things or just I want to keep this one. Okay, so that's it. Like you wanted to remove any elements, just add any elements, go ahead and make this image. This has some text. Okay, now you can change this to any other text like how to gain followers how to get clients any other depending on the niche which you're going to work you can choose what is needed for your client those kind of a thumbnails or you can just ask them to add it see your the design is ready the background is ready where you can add the the image place is ready all they have to do is just change the font maybe just change the color if they have a brand color and then just add an image that's it they will be having like within Five to ten minutes, they'll be able to make their own thumbnail or customized thumbnail. Now, similar way, you can just go ahead and make templates. You click on this templates, you will see a lot of templates coming up. So, click on add image. So now, consider this is one. This is one thumbnail. Now, we can add similar to this a different different thumbnails. So, you can just click on this. This one seems to be really good for me. All you have to do is just change the background color. That's it. I think. Uh, this really pops out just add an image here and just add the text so go back and change the background color okay they have used a gradient background so what we can do is you can search for the elements as a gradient you will get a lot of gradient backgrounds okay so choose the one which is not a premium or a pro one. You can see the square gradients. I think I like this one. We can add it here directly. Just make it little more bigger. Okay, send this to backward, position to backward. back okay now you could see this totally looks different but at the same at the same time this is really popping out all we have to do is just change this make three thousand dollars daily instead of that i would say get clients pro thousand subscribers let me make it a little more smaller So this is grow thousand subscribers and I'm going to remove this element and instead of that I'm going to add YouTube. So again, as I said, all these kind of elements, you can get it inside this. 
just type YouTube logo. So you will see all, all sort of YouTube logos here. And I think I feel this one or this one is really good. So I'll choose one of this. We'll add this one here. Probably I'll remove this as well, the coin. Okay. Thousand, grow thousand subscribers. A very simple one, you can just remove his image and just go back and add your own image. Like, let me just try to add my own image. Probably I will add this one so that it makes sense. But what I'm going to do is I'll just flip this. Okay. So what we can do is we will make this little bigger so that it fills the entire entire screen like this and I'm going to flip this because I'm showing the hand left side but this has to be the right side. Now we can click on this first select the image go to this flip horizontal and click on this so automatically it fits into this. So I will just click this so that my image doesn't look awkward. Before that, let me bring this element a little more outside. Yeah, I will better put this here. Now, let me bring my image back to this place. So, it matches this. And now, see, my image does not have that much of clarity. So, let me go ahead and click on edit image. And I can just go back and make some changes. Make it a little more colorful. So you can try these filters. So let me try this some more. See, it looks more brighter compared to the previous. Let's say festive. This is also even brighter. So it's like a, I do have a lighting shadow, but I like the summer. So you can try other filters also. And now this YouTube thumbnail is ready. It's not that difficult. So like this, you can go ahead and create. See, probably you can just add they can just remove the mock-up image from here and they can go ahead and add it. So like this, you can create at least 20 to 30 YouTube thumbnail templates. Just choose the design which you think it's really popping out. Just add some colors, fonts, background images and elements. And that's all you needed because you're not going to do anything from the scratch. Okay. Yeah. So we seem to have three templates. If we know the elements, how to do it, you can quickly go ahead and design. And if you're really good at choosing the color combination, this won't take this much of time. Obviously, I'm not so good in choosing the colors and fonts, but still I managed to do it. Let's see how to download this and sell it in which platform. So click on this share button. Okay. When you click on download, this is going to ask you what format. So just click on this. See, I'll tell you one hack here. If you wanted to get a very good clarity of this images, first click on PDF. This all the images will get downloaded in PDF and then you convert the PDF to PNG format so it doesn't break the pixels. But right now we don't have so much of time. Directly I'm going to use PNG. And do not choose any of these options. Just, um, yeah. So click on download here not choose any of this because it's those are all premium options and you can scroll down a bit so it will ask you do you want all the image okay there is one image with the premium we wanted to you remove that okay can you see this there is one image which is premium probably i don't want to use that i think this is the one so i don't want this let me delete and try to download now download yeah right now I'm, I'm not getting anything so probably I, I just chose the paid one yeah you need to be a little careful on choosing your images or templates now we'll get back to this we have two images you can download two images at a time select png click on download and this is gonna download you can rename it here so that you will know which what is this called so I can rename this for YouTube thumbnails template just a minute so i'm gonna put it on my desktop you youtube um thumbnails templates okay let's see how it looks 
so it will be zip file when you download in a bunch more than one you have to just unzip it extract the files now i have extracted the file this is how it looks like so let's go ahead and see what is the next step like where we can sell it 